throughout the world during the 19th and 20th century through imperialism. So in that sense, modernity is a worldwide civilization or barbarism, uh, depending on your view. And that um, project has created a world in which we live. So obviously, uh, everybody live in that world. <laughs> that world created by modernity. Obviously, we are just following his uh, template at the moment. So we are playing along, so to speak. Um, so we are all live in that world. Supporters of modernity live in there, opponents live in there, middle way, people like want to reform modernity live in there. Uh, so we, uh, there's no there's no um, alternative in that sense. So, uh, we, we, ca we can't ignore the fact that we live in that world. That's why we try to understand that world. We should try to understand that world. Uh, so we live in that world. But that doesn't mean we all live. And in, in a sense, we all live modernity as well. We are socialized in that world. We are educated in that world. But obviously, the relationship how, uh, depends on the level of socialization. Not every country is socialized according to modernist project in, at the same level. Uh, so modernity has its centers, uh, peripheries, uh, and all those things. And um, so Muslims like uh, other people. Muslims are various shades. And Muslims have, like any other uh, community, Muslims have different relations with modernity. Let's see. Um, so li like other people, we live in that world too, modernity. And we live modern modernity to the extent that we are socialized in that world. But M Muslims, like other people, have different views of modernity, different relations with modernity, the modernity which they are obliged to live to a certain extent, and the modernist world in which they are uh, almost compelled to live. I mean, we don't have any alternative. There's no other world. Because it's a world historic civilization or barbarism, depending on what you, how do you see it. So there are Muslims who are modernists, there are Muslims who are reformists, like they want modernity, but and there are Muslims who are anti-modernists, want to overcome modernity. So these are three parts. Obviously, within these there are other shades as well. Okay. So what I want to say is that just because Muslims live in modernity like any other people, doesn't mean that their their relation to modernity is the same. Uh, or every one of those Muslims should think that they should live in modernity, whether it's a good life, whether it's the... So, so there are different relations. So, um, there are Muslims who are anti-modernists, who want to overcome modernity for various reasons. But probably what he wants to do is to ask Muslims to join this group. And <laughs> in a sense, um, accept modernity as, as a... Uh, Common fate, so to speak, and try to uh, try to be Muslim within that context. <laughs> so it is the argument of this book that the inherent self-contradiction entailed by a modern Islamic state. See, the, that's like um, when you don't have good philosophical training, you do these sort of things. Uh, now he calls modern Islamic state. Before he said, uh, oh, before he said modern. Sorry, that's my modern Islamic states are primarily grounded in um, modernity, modernity's moral predicament. But is he talking about actually existing Islamic uh, and they are not Islamic state, by the way. So uh, uh, actually existing Muslim states or the concept of Islamic state? Because, you know, except for a couple of, uh, you know, Iran to a certain extent is Islamic state and Taliban to a certain extent is an Islamic state. But apart from that, which one is Islamic state? And it seems like... Um, it seems like uh, he's talking about modernism, <laughs> modernity is moral predicament. Let me write it. It's, I mean, modernity, there, I don't know whether it is, modernity is moral predicament, obviously. If you read postmodernist literature, if you read metamodernist literature, even if you read, you know, modernist literature itself, uh, in different fields, you will see the, what those pre predicaments are. Um, but somehow he's trying to, because we're living in modernity, it is our predicament. Of course, we, we should be concerned about it, but we should be concerned in our view concerned about it in order to increase this predicament. So uh, modernity can eventually implode. 
so it uh, in Muslim world anyway so so that it can be overcome so but it looks like Allah is trying <laughs> to make modernity's moral predicament as if it is our predicament like Muslims predicament and we should we should uh, help to overcome this uh, that, that that view is uh, sort of uh, Yugen's view, in a sense, because that's what she said, uh, you know, what's the enemy in the mirror? Um, but we'll see.